guys welcome to another uh sewing for sam sunday um where i do a little vlog trying to document me trying to learn how to sew for my first little baby sam um so today is the big day i am going to try to conquer my fear of working with stretchy or knit fabric and uh i think it's going to be worth it if i could be successful at all look at this pattern right so this is a max and mina pattern it is baby basic and i'm going to choose the most simplest one so i don't know if you could tell here are some little mittens then i'm choosing the simple hat because this is my first time and then some little booties so i'm really excited about this um right now my fabric is in the dryer and I read through the instructions and I'm just going to cut out the pattern pieces and while I was cutting them out I thought I would chit chat with you guys because um ever since I basically have stopped oh I'm going to do this in the newborn sizes because it's like newborn slash zero to three months my guess is because things are stretchy um that's why it is so I'm going to cut these out and then chit chat with you because I have been missing having um, what I used to call like snack chats back when I was doing um, like cooking and Weight Watchers video, which I do have to say like I already have a plan on when I'm going to jump back on Weight Watchers after the baby is born obviously and, and all these different things. So Sam is born, well this is the ideal plan, right? Because who knows what life with a baby is going to be like certainly not me so sam is um going to sam is in a should be an october baby um if the middle of october if all things go well and so and i believe you could correct me if i'm wrong i believe that it is six weeks before you're even cleared to do um clear to do like any exercise for the most part like once again um i don't know and so that six weeks would probably basically put me in the beginning of december and so there's no way that i'm going to start trying to exercise and try to start getting healthy for sam's first christmas because first i expect fully to still be kind of in the stressed out newborn phase not really having a good schedule yet and so um that's just kind of my expectations for that so i'm going to not put that on me during the christmas and holiday times so i'm thinking that i am going to hopefully be able to start in january um trying to get healthy and things like that plus that is so typical right most people start in january that's my goal anyways um to try to start losing the baby weight, getting healthy, and all of those things. Um, so you could you could hold me to that or not if you want to. It's totally your choice. Anyway, I wanted to tell you guys about this really fun thing um, we did yesterday, and um, Eric's sister, then brother-in-law, and then they have two kids, 13 and 10-year-old, our niece and nephew. Um, we put Eric was um, like missing um obviously so he's really missing them and so um he was like oh let's go see if they want to like play some games online together and stuff and so he has played with some of his friends this game called jackbox i never have because honestly he plays with them on sundays and Sundays I'm swimming with you guys for with Sam right sewing so I haven't played with his friend well I haven't really played um, with his friends or anything like that and it is it's not super complicated to set up but basically it's a game it's an online game but you could set up like zoom so you guys could see each other and stuff like that oh Eric's coming in would you like would you like to say something I was explaining about Jackbox. Would you like to say what is a fun game that you would recommend? The murder one. Yeah, there's a murder trivia, but that's pretty fun. Um, want some pregnancy tests? 
Oh, were those the ones that were all of our positive tests? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Sorry to interrupt. That's fine. I'll er go back to doing what I was doing. Eric is organizing? Yep. Yeah, he's organizing. Anyway, so we played a bunch of those games and it was really fun. Um, it's not super, super complicated to set up and you guys can't, like, you have to be able to see the game on the screen and you have, and to make it more fun, you should be able to, like, see the little, see the people you're playing with and stuff like that. So it was just really fun. We actually ended up playing it for, like, five hours last, about five hours. So I stayed up super late because we started it at, like, six in the evening time around there after dinner but if you're looking for a way to like connect with people I would have to say it I would recommend making sure that the people you're playing with like arcs are kind of technologically savvy like you don't need a ton of things to do but make sure they're like comfortable with technology but it was a really fun way to like hang out and play together and stuff like that I am the worst at drawing like they had a game that's like kind of like Pictionary um, like an online version of Pictionary and and have you guys played the game Telestrations it's like a board game that you draw on things anything that has to do with drawing I am far and away the worst at it it's I just have zero talent all creative talent that I have requires like not drawing not free form things i need a little bit more structure to be able to do it well um but yeah it was it was a lot of fun and and it's this time is just so weird for everybody right like being away from family not being able to spend a lot of time with people but there are ways to still like stay connected anyways um i feel like i'm not like I don't want to be super super rambly so I'm going to finish cutting these and I'll talk to you guys later actually before we leave the pattern cutting stage I have a question for all of you if you are experienced sewers with um, patterns so I guess typically I have sewn with patterns like I've sewn some dresses for myself but it has been years and um, and typically like since it's for me like I would just have the one size you know but for you could see like for example in this pattern pieces there are like a bunch of obviously different sizes and so if these are good like for example like the hat if this is a good pattern I understand it and um and it's easy to put together then I'm probably going to want to make them in like I'm going to want to make them in different sizes for him in different stages of how old he is and so I was just wondering do you guys have any recommendations on what I could do to um to not waste so much ink maybe or necessarily because like I don't want to print these pattern pieces like over and over and over one for each size to cut out um, but I totally will if you if there's not like a better way to do it but if you have a suggestion on being a little bit more economical with like paper and ink for printing these if I want to like do maybe like a bunch of different sizes please let me know because I'm I'm hoping that this these are going to be awesome patterns because this is um, these are really simple and I and maybe one day like I'll make them for like if we have any future kids too Anyway, let me know, please. My fabric is washed and out of the dryer. Now, I am really, really, really struggling to find um, fabric that I like for Sam. And so, like, especially, the problem especially is, like, with this stretch knitty, like, uh, fabric because um, I don't use it obviously I had these two I probably bought them by mistake honestly is what my thought was um, and so I am going to start off trying to use this fabric a bunch of Disney dogs I got this I think on Facebook um, and probably a fabric group on Facebook but it, I have a decent amount of it so um, if I make a mistake, I will have more to work with. The other one I'll show you later if I get to it. But um, 
yeah if you i'm especially looking for stretchy disney fabric but stretchy like fabric that's good for baby boys but i really am not like super into like a lot of traditional things like trucks dinosaurs anything pastel or light colors not really that into like i really want like like bright happy joyful things and look at disney dogs in a beautiful blue how could you get much more joyful than that <sighs> all right so i am probably going to do a little montage thing of me trying to thread the serger and start working which if you have worked with a serger you know threading is intimidating but let's see <laughs> Threading went well, but uh, help needed for this next part. Uh, let me sh let me put you down, and so you are on my ironing board right now. And so I'm trying to iron this. Um, this is a cotton lycra fabric. I'll show you. So I just have my iron set on the cotton setting, and I wanted to iron this because I don't know if you could tell. It's very, very curly, this fabric is, and so I wanted to kind of like straighten it out before I start cutting um, to obviously try to make sure I don't waste or I get accurate cuts, but look. So like, I'm ironing, and this all right has been ironed, and then it just curls. Like, what in the world, man? Come on. I know you want to live your fun curly life, but we got to try to cut you into something else more fun. And then it's even curling on this cut end too. Is this just what knit fabric does or, or what? I don't know. I'm confused. If you have any ironing tips, uh, please send them my way because it's curling and I don't know what I, I should do with it. I'm just going to go for it and just try to cut during the flat parts.
right, da 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 da. Here they are. It actually really didn't take me a long time. So overall, um, I think, well, some turned out better than others, and I did have a learning curve. So for example, on, you could tell on this one, on these little mittens, I totally didn't realize that I had to be careful about which way it is. Excuse me, because Doug is upside down. But I did learn and teach myself how to do it, so it turned out well with these hats. And these little booty socks or whatever they are, we're going to have a conversation about this. So I don't know if you could tell, but when I was in the little sewing montage, I just stopped showing the little baby booty things because um, it actually ended up getting really frustrating and honestly I don't know if I will even use those um, booties for Samuel because um, honestly they seem really tiny. Like I know newborns are small but the ankle cuff seems like it would be uncomfortable. So um, here is the deal. I th I'm happy enough with the hat and the mittens, um, but there weren't, it's not without some frustrations or difficulties. So first of all, zero problems using that serger machine. Super easy, makes a lot of sense. If you, at least to do like super basic things like I just did, if you are really confident in using a regular sewing machine, which I'm like really confident in my sewing machine, moving over to a serger, it's, it's very, very similar. My problem is, is actually, I would absolutely not recommend this pattern that I use that I show, showed you in the beginning. I would not recommend it if you are um, beginner like I am. And, and I would say, if you're more into like beginner, using patterns or using things not necessarily with a serger or with a sewing regular sewing machine i don't think that mattered because that honestly that was the easiest part and i was kind of worried about it um i just do not think that the pattern was written well for beginners in mind so let me give you an example i was able to make it work on the um on these little mittens, which on it, like they turned out cute. Like I'm not going to complain about that. These are super cute. Um, but so when it came to sewing this little cuff part, there is a part obviously that's longer. And even though it's folded, a part that's shorter, they were not specific and they were not clear in this pattern about what sides you had to sew it together first. And it does make a difference. Um, I played around with it and I was able to figure it out but there were a couple of things like that where um, it really wasn't clear about it just wasn't clear for beginners who might not be familiar with with um, these things but honestly I think I, I think I would expect it with any pattern there there are other things that I think would have been nice to have included in the instructions for this pattern like for example if working with like a directional print, which directional print, if you're if you're new to sewing, is just basically it could go. It's supposed to go one way and not the other. So for example, it's supposed to be right side up instead of like this one. How this little dog, oops, focus. This little dog is upside down, so it's in the wrong direction. So directional fabric or directional print. Um, and anyway, if it was like. A, my my basic expectations would be clear directions this didn't in my opinion did not have clear directions because they were not careful like i said in explaining which in very being very specific about, about which seam exactly you're sewing or which side that you're that you're sewing um exceptional directions i would expect and i would hope for them to give additional information like if you're working working with directional patterns so um so I would not, I think this was only like $5 or whatever for the pattern, but I would say not worth it. There are tons of different free things out there. I actually, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stinking disappointed about this because I specifically chose not a not free pattern because I was hoping to get the extra like hand holding with these, like with the directional, with the things, because I was pretty 
nervous about um, it. And so it was just, I would just say it's a little disappointing. Um, I might come back to this once I have a lot more confidence in sewing with knit or stretchy fabric or material. But I think, um, like I might come back to this pattern, but I'm probably not going to purchase from this pattern maker until I'm a lot more experienced because, like I said, this is probably great for someone who's more experienced, but I'm just, I'm just not, you know, I'm not even experienced in like making things. I, I have like, I think I've made two different dress patterns for myself and I've made a decent amount, but I've used two different pat, maybe three two or three for myself and it's been years since I've even made anything for myself so I'm definitely like a newbie when it comes to using patterns because I just tend to well first of all I usually make bags or quilts and those I tend to just design myself um so so anyway so I even though it's probably like one o'clock maybe in the afternoon so I still have a lot of time um what I think I think I'm going to call it quits for um, sewing for Sam on Sundays, or whatever I call it, because, um, I'm a little bit, I guess I'm just a little bit disappointed, and then also, I'm still struggling with, um, the disappointment, fabric disappointment, which I will explain in full detail on the pregnancy update thing, because there's, there's just a lot going on with fabric. You might not think fabric could cause such heartache but I've cried a lot over some fabrics and I'll tell you all about it in the other video but I'm going to call it quits and I'm just like I'm gonna I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon uh looking for different fabrics because I need I need at least something so I could practice on um and also for example like this hat I think it would have looked a lot cuter if I had like a contrasting band like either like a little white band or something to pick up one of the colors um so I might just need to figure out where to stock up on some like basic colors and things like that so anyway I am off to do some research if you have suggestions on where to get well ideally Disney knit fabric or woven I feel like I I have ton of woven or I know where to get woven but um but I will take either so ideally it would be like Disney um Disney things or just honestly any like good quality fairly affordable um knit fabric if if you do have any of those questions or any of those answers because I'm learning and there's going to be like I'm going to be making mistakes that's just part of the learning process which I'm fine with you know um or a uh, very very beginner friendly patterns I already got some suggestions which I really really appreciate I believe the pattern is called brindle and twig it looked a little bit more intimidating than these did but you know what maybe it's even if something looks intimidating if the pattern is written well maybe who cares right maybe it just has a lot of steps I don't know Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for your support. If you're, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I'd love to have you subscribe. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you for your help and support as I am learning how to do something new. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.